A motionless greeting, shallow opening nod, stern lick of lips, immediately calming everyone's fears that we're at war with Russia. Hacking into briefing, saying we drop big hairy bomb on your puny lady ships. Claiming no you didn't. Wondering what I would say if we didn't. Vodka shot. <laughs> Citing blatant Russian disinformation. Loud laugh. <laughs> saying it's rich coming from you. See you next election. Putin thumbs. Reassuring British public we don't have time for an actual war because we're too busy spouting bullshit about the culture war, which in turn is a lovely distraction from our real life class war. Thank you for not noticing. Slow blink. Returning to COVID updates, insisting we've been very clear on rules around people meeting outside. 60,000 people at the final of the Euros is fine, but 12 parents gathering for a school sports day on the soggy field in Stoke is a huge risk. Marking five years since the Brexit vote, celebrating by crossing to Brexit-loving colleague. Warmly congratulating the Minister on all the benefits of Brexit. Of course, such as... struggling noises... Rescuing exchange by misreading the mood of the nation and asking you to sing a patriotic song. Christ, no. Terrified eyes. Encouraging smile. Desperately not wanting to join in if at all possible. We are Britain and we have one dream to unite all... Nine. Reminding you at home it was this or chaos with Ed Miliband. Bacon sandwich. Finally, passing my condolences to Scotland after their defeat to Croatia in the footballings. Uh, but at least this time, it wasn't the English that forced you out of Europe against your will. Strong nod. Weak, thank you.